वन टू थ्री गो हेलो लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन एंड वी आर विथ संदीप जी एंड टोगी जी एंड टोगी जी वेर ब्यूटिफुली एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द डिफरेंट नक्षत्र एंड द टेबल एंड द नेम्स एंड द प्लान एंड सो मेनी अदर डिटेल्स यू एट गिवेन इन द फर्स्ट वीडियो सो इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच इट दैन प्लीज गो एंड वॉच एंड नाउ संदीप जी इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन ऑल ओवर टू यू Yeah. Uh, well, uh, I think I will just add on to one point which uh, Togi was uh, saying. Uh, Adito was saying about um, the drishti, right? He said like um, it's an interesting concept about uh, downward looking and straight um, triangle mukha, straight forward, and then upward look. One interesting thing I've seen you know, is that uh, sometimes it can be like how you are using your mobile the video call. Right? So sometimes you will find that uh, when you're using a mo- mobile phone, you will be looking up. You will be downward looking. Say you are using a laptop, you straight forward sometimes, or then if you're using a camera or something, you're looking. You know, I see that actually happening. And sometimes uh, simple activities like say you have a planet and upward looking, then going to a nature and looking upward at the mountain. It's a simple act of simple remedy on that. Uh, you know, straight forward looking is talking to the person, looking by looking at the eye and talking. It's a very simple remedy. And then downward, actually, one thing I've seen is that these people. Might not even pay attention to where they are walking. You know, like they'll just walk and they'll just fall. Also, pay attention to where you're walking. It's a simple thing with that uh, as a remedy. You know, uh, I've seen that actually working. And uh, occasionally, I would also I would do the experiment myself by changing my camera orientation, see what is happening, what nakshatra is active. And so, on Sunday, someday I'd see this uh, is actually playing out. I'd be feeling more inclined to this. Triangle Mukha. Some days I'll be feeling more inclined to look upwards, things like that. You know, so it is an interesting thing. Uh, but yeah, above this, I'll, you know, on the remedies part, uh, you know, uh, I think um, Aditya gave a, you know, great uh, configuration how to make uh, remedies, different elements you can use to make a uh, remedy. Also, w- what I want to say up front, uh, first thing is that um, we were discussing this before uh, amongst us that how you know we think about remedies as like one-time solution that can actually give you the And that's a very important uh, distinct. You have to remember that there is a certain karma that is being triggered. Also, there is something there. It might not. It might always. Uh, it might not always be that you do a remedy for a particular nakshatra and you are getting the exact positive result out of it. You know, karma will be released. It's very important to be aware about. Say you have some difficult karma, it may not be immediately apparent. You know, but then so much as that karma will be released, and then no matter what, you have to face them. So it's kind of important to think about that also. Like, oh, I do this remedy and then I'll get this result. Oh, I I do this remedy, right? I do this remedy and I'll get a job. It's not. Uh, it's very important to keep that in mind. You know, it's not. Um, it's not all to you. Actually, it's a remedy. Uh, you do one thing and you will get the result. It, you do one thing, the karma will be activated, and then you once you experience karma, and then you will get the actual result of that karma. It's very important to keep that in mind. Um, having said that. There are some techniques to activate that particular karma, you know. And one thing I really want to focus on is like uh, the animals uh, symbols, you know. Uh, this, one, this is something interesting which uh, which I came across uh, when a student of mine uh, was a painter was basically drawing the animals. I was basically looking at uh, how the, the student was basically saying events corresponding to the picture of the animal that was being drawn. And I did look at what was actually going on, and then <laughs> so it was an interesting thing. So I'll just uh, share uh, what I have on that. Uh, it's kind of an interesting thing because uh, what was there? Uh, and uh, so how can we use animals to improve your own uh, karma? You know, one simple thing is to look at the understand. Try to understand the animal behaviors uh, of that particular nakshatra. So, say for example, have a tiger here. Tiger is the animal connected with Chitra and Vishaka. So, say you have a planet in Chitra or Vishaka. Try to understand the behavior of tiger. What are the habit patterns of tiger? Are you doing something tiger-like? Are you becoming angry or ferocious like a tiger? You know, is there a way to calm calm yourself down if you are becoming like a tiger? Like so that, you know. Uh, and the simple way is to you are trying to connect with the animal energy of that tiger. to support that uh, energy also in this earth plane so you are trying to support animal sanctuaries connect with that particular nakshatra totem animal you can feed so the food for the animal by donating to a friend who has it as a pet or pet store or to zoo i mean i don't know if we have any friend who is having a tiger as a pet you know but then you can at least you can support the tiger's uh, sanctuaries and things like that 
you know um, so i was saying you know donating to tiger sanctuary you know plants and chitra that can actually be a remedy so this is the one way to make use of the living animal as a remedy for you now the uh, second uh, thing is actually uh, you can actually let's see uh, okay 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 yeah so the next thing is actually i want to show if you know the animal then there's a simple way to further enhance it also you can actually use a painting of an animal uh, you know uh, as a remedy this is a very interesting thing which the student of mine uh, gave the idea for me you know like basically draw the animal in the color of the planet that is present in that nakshatra so say for instance venus is in chitra uh, the animal we know is purple chitra and we know the color of venus is actually off white so simply make a painting of tiger in off white color with black background you know the reason the black background is recommended so that you can see the white off white color of venus you know that's why a uh, recommended black background for uh, venus and then what you are actually doing is that you are creating your own yantra you know you have created your own yantra for that particular reposition specifically to your chart you have say you have mars in chitra draw a red color tiger then you don't need the black background at all you know uh, then you can just use a white background also but uh, the key is that you have created that and then if you place that uh, place that yantra or place that painting which you have created in the house direction of your chart in that particular room and then that can be further enhanced uh, those energies for instance um, here uh, what i will say is that uh, the let me the colors for of the planet so you have sun having a gold color moon having white silver color mars is red color mercury is green jupiter is yellow venus is off white saturn is black and rahu and ketu is gray so like if you if you have any of these planets in any of the nakshatras identify the animal of the nakshatra identify the color associated with the planet and simply draw that particular uh, planet you know and then uh, with regard to the direction big big thing is that um, you have to identify which house that particular nakshatra is in now uh, the simple way to identify a simple thing to identify direction of each house is that uh, the first house is east because that is the the seventh house is west because that is where the sun is setting and then the 10th house is actually considered to be south direction and the 4th uh, house is considered to be north direction and then based on the exact degree on the circle if you create a circle look at where exactly your uh, that planet is falling and based on these particular cardinal directions and then you can exactly place that paint at exact degree from the center of your house or the center of the room you know it's a very simple concept and say say for instance you have uh, venus in chitra is in your 6th uh, house let's say so 6th house um, you create this painting of tiger you look at the 6th house 6th house is closer to the west direction of 7th house but it is not exactly close to the north direction of the 4th house so you painting of the tiger slightly closer to the west direction not exactly the west direction but slightly closer to the direction and between the north and west so you place that direction there tiger there and then suddenly what will happen is that uh, in 6 days or 6 weeks or 6 months you know some kind of things can happen with regard to that 6th house kind of thing it's a very simple thing you know it's a very simple thing but this is something uh, what was interesting is that i recommended this to a couple of uh, clients and you know couple of them actually got jobs like you know they were like they have placed the uh, place this particular animal in the 10th house uh, planets uh, you know 10th house planets and the 10th lords they created multiple paintings for those and then suddenly you know they were like they ended up getting jobs one guy actually ended up getting a job and he his letter was uh, kind of uh, you know coming slow or something or letter was kind of coming slow and i simply asked him to redraw the painting again so he double he created two sets of drawings the same set of drawings again and then suddenly within next day the the people said sorry we didn't send you the letter so another some not part or something like that you know he ended up getting an offer letter with basically within next day so it's kind of some kind of energetic act activation by simply putting your focus attention and creating your own yantra it's a very simple straightforward thing this is a very yeah. uh, this is something i would definitely recommend i i also wanted to ask some questions here so yeah, sure. now sometimes people tell me that you know their drawing is very bad or they cannot draw for many people it happens so can it 
is it possible that somebody else draws it for us and we can put it there or some something of that sort or is it mandatory that we have to draw it ourselves yeah it is kind of uh, important that you yourself and you are creating a drawing yourself it's not the beauty is not important but your attention and focus is very important okay so you just need to do it as is possible by you and then because you are putting attention you are putting your energy into it and you are creating it yourself you know it's one it's other like alternative a, i would say say that again it's like a yantra it's like a yantra yeah you are creating your own yantra you know one thing i can say is that there are some cases alternative where you have moon in you can you particular planetary person to draw so say moon is in chitra you can make a mother draw it for you to see okay. so mars is you know your friend or brother can draw it for you and that much will work you know sun there your father can draw things like that that's a variation there this possibility i can say but it's much more stronger if you yourself create the drawing you know in my opinion um and so that's one, what i would one, say with that one more question i have on this so what happens sometimes is suppose somebody's 10th lord is in the 5th house for example so then 5th house is a particular direction as you were explaining but then what happens right. is in bhav chale chart it actually goes to the 4th right. house so then right. what do you suggest you should draw for yeah. and place it in the 4th house direction or the 5th house direction right so bhav chale chart is a very interesting concept you know uh, there are people who use bhav chale chart in their excellent predictions if you uh some people they use the rashi chart you know the rashi based uh, house chart and they give prediction rules so i would say and those people use different kind of tools to give you know you know rashi chart people using yoga to give prediction what about chale chart people will be using other kind of yoga for the prediction you know uh, i would say that um, if you use bhav chale chart simply use the house direction of that particular bhava that's what i would say but it's still you know that is still active you know it will still be in the neighborhood anyways of the other house so that will still be fine yeah we can do is... like this now that we you can paste yeah. it in the direction of the fifth house which is in the lagna chart and if it is not happening then after so one week or exactly. two weeks we can change it in the fourth house and then we can see what are the results yeah. definitely exactly that that's great that will be and, easy yeah and one more question i have sometimes suppose somebody says that i uh, i want to find a job specifically so then right. they have to see where the 10th lord is placed or the 6th lord so what is your opinion on that i would say look at the 10th lord uh, okay. i would also say look at the planet space in the 7th house also 7th uh, house i would also say yeah planet space in the 7th house is the bhavat bhavam of the 10th house yes uh, lord is sure uh, so uh, but look definitely the 10th lord i would say is a job just status recognition 6th house is something more like uh, i am more uh, you could definitely get 6000 but then 10000 is what i would say 6000 also makes sense in my opinion just draw all three plus you know and then you get the artha trikona and all three will be activated you know um, but i would say uh, 10000 my opinion aditya what do you think about this 6000 or 10000 for career 10000 will be i guess 10000 is definitely more important so 6000 is for giving service or to the helping to the people community and all but Uh, mm-hmm. of course i know it's also for routine and job service too but i will definitely pay attention to 10000 where the lord of 10000 is sitting and which house and what nakshatras so, apart from the lord of the 10th if there are planets in the 10th house that's a good question that right. i was going to say that draw. yes exactly you should draw okay. the 10th house planets 10th lord planets Ah, and if okay. you still don't have anything draw the seventh house plan so you know then you'll definitely get it you know i would see if you can draw it itself there should be a big picture yeah okay and this we can extrapolate if somebody is not getting married in that case they can draw where venus is placed or where the seventh lord is or where uh, or the planets and nakshatras in the seventh exactly or even the first house also if there is any planets in the first house because seven from seven is first house so that's also one more simple you are kind of using bhavat bhavam to do it you know it's a very simple thing but uh, you know you can try all it i mean it depends upon how much <laughs> how badly you want the job and badly you want to get married you know so oh, try it that's what i would yeah so uh questions on this animal totem uh, then i'll just go on to the next kind of remedy and and uh, one la- is- another small question i had so yeah. here you have shown that this is this fancy black white tiger for example right right <laughs> and we place this in but suppose somebody doesn't know about this or they don't know anything about astrology and they just bring a 
tiger photo any normal tiger photo and they place it in somewhere and suppose they have some planet in chitra so so then how yeah. it happens that suppose that planet is in 6th house and he places this in the direction of the 10th house or 8th yeah. house 9th house so what do you think have you seen anything in those lines well i would expect will be there but it will be slightly reduced but i haven't done that a specific uh, question uh, you asked me you are asking me what if we change the direction would there be an effect you know uh, so definitely i would say the, there would be an effect uh, effect would be slightly lower perhaps uh, say you have jupiter uh, you have jupiter and then you are placing the picture in the you know jupiter is in 6000 in a chart but you place the jupiter's picture in the time. perhaps the 5000 aspect of jupiter is now activated so now the question is like um, is the jupiter aspect good enough to activate the entire jupiter you know in if you draw it's a good research question in fact i would say like what about um, mars picture if you place it in 4000 aspect from natal mars will that activate the 4000 aspect from mars very strongly it's a very good question in fact you know a lot more possibilities are there within the picture thing but one simple thing is that uh, you can give prediction pictures in your life uh, i think i was mentioning this like you know like uh, someone was looking at he was say uh, he looked at someone's background and i think the, it it had a picture of like one lover separating or something and then mm. they were like uh, are you in some your relationship yeah they said yeah and then don't so it was like a picture thing so it's kind of important uh, we tend to forget the important we about the background pictures we have in our life you, you usually it's like pictures of models or superstars or sports stars or stuff like that you know which we keep but then uh, these pictures so attached to one aspect uh, consciousness you know and one way or the other it is influencing us will you turn off so it's very important to be aware of the objects you keep I, around and yeah you are a very good uh, <laughs> i'm just thinking you know all this pregnant mothers in that mm-hmm. in their room you will see pictures of uh, children kept you know yeah have you seen exactly <laughs> they will keep i think that's maybe one of the reason uh, i'm just yeah. thinking why that is it just came in my mind like having those pictures sometimes uh, they will say okay keep pictures of gods like when the pregnant mother sees it she receives that energy and all so i think that same thing works here too you see like okay. we know that right? the stories exactly. are like i've seen in maternity wards and all they will have pictures of Exactly. and all, all over the walls of that hospital and all and exactly. yeah and this is a generic thing which you have said to activate certain things so now people also ask a question that suppose i am in my for example venus mahadasha is going on suppose and then mercury yeah. antardasha is going on so then should i also activate those areas where venus and mercury is or what right. what no, see here the a uh, good question because now the question depends upon the karma what you want to activate also exactly are you willing to face the karmas of venus and mercury in each other big thing because people will uh, draw pictures of saturn and they are like suddenly they feel like they are quitting their job they feel like it's not serving their long term purpose anymore and they like they will have to do the long term purpose and they willing to do the hard work now because of saturn so and so you have to kind of uh, know the what the planets are actually and things like that also in my opinion and uh, what, with respect to picture one thing i can definitely say is that uh, at least one picture that can be easily brought is the use the pictures of the gods who are actually uh, using that animal as a mount as a vehicle for instance say like um, deity is connected with an animal durga is riding a tiger and some picture she is riding a lion so take a picture of durga and keep it there you know and take a picture of saraswati and keep it wherever swati is placed in a chart for instance And then so, now you can actually here, here the durga this animal is for chitra nakshatra for example exactly yes wow yes. this is amazing <laughs> so then now you can see now what is happening is that you can do the remedies for durga which will actually help out chitra also it's a very oh. simple thing and then you, even you can do you can see it's a very simple thing uh, and then uh, what are the remedies for durga one is reading durga saptashuti for instance and then you can celebrate and follow rituals during navratri time it's a very simple thing but uh, you will see big effect also now, now you can extend the same concept to other gods also uh, so here you can see swami is actually riding uh, on a tigress and uh, he is also great remedy for vishaka and uh, chitra because so he is riding a tiger uh, that's the thing and then uh, you know so is riding uh, the bull nandi so clearly you can see nandi is uh, connected to uttarapalguni uh, and there's lot more research you can do here you know uh, but um, 
it might help you with your uttar phalgi pushwari if you keep shiva pictures or with the brigashira board. also brigashira rohini sarpas <laughs> yeah brigashira oh, exactly yes, yes. Uh, exactly you know and then uh, damru is a devati correct damru is dhanishtha also devati dhanishtha devati yeah devati also devati yeah yeah so that all that helps you know that this thing and then uh, even for krishna famously as cow so cow is like uh, what you say cow is connected with um, pushya and uttara bhadra pada right uh, pushya is out of the cow the symbol of uh, cow is pushya out of the cow pointing that so that will act with that uttara bhadra pada is typically associated with cow but the, they recommend to keep, keep a kamadenu or a kamadenu statue to activate uttara bhadra pada also because that's a cow and uh, that will help you that also so sometimes uh, there are two so animals for i mean one animal is common for two three nakshatra sometimes like you said uttar right. bhadra pada and pushya is both cow right exactly okay and then uh, for instance uh, what is interesting again is that uh, each nakshatra also has its own bird also associated with it so for instance i believe kritika the bird is actually uh, uh, you know kartikeya is the rooster this kritika's bird uh if i'm not mistaken you know is uh, birds also you can use you know and uh, but see uh, one big thing i have to say uh, babaji it is that uh, you know i think uh, most of the animals and birds are given in an indian context i would say that uh, you know world over there are other corresponding animals which also correspond to certain nakshatras for instance the uh, other the animal is dog but then you know you go to north america you will find lot of dogs for sure but you go to canada you might actually end up finding you know and uh, dogs wolf also howl so both the uh, animal are having similar traits so there are other animals also which you might be connected with and you might find that those animals are sharing some traits with the uh, indian uh, context uh, nakshatra animals also and there is also one more thing just to that needs definite more research for sure but uh, at least this is a simple idea uh, you know and you'll find but that particular region has their own krishna their own you know the native american krishna would be different and he would be using a different kind of animal or something like that you know uh, that kind of thing but this is a very uh, the animal totem as a remedy is a whole straightforward concept i would say um, so it's but very if you use, uh, interesting when you were telling about pushya i was just thinking that pushya is uh, the uh, is cow right in the animals right so i recently i was uh, in south germany during my uh, this new year vacation <laughs> and there uh, there was a community which was uh, doing cow protection can you imagine in germany it's like <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> very rare and there were the cows were so big my god when i saw i was like because i was in vindavan on october last year and when i saw those right. cows in vindavan i was like my god these are the biggest cows i have seen but when i came to here <laughs> i was like one cow is bigger than three times minimum and they have given names like this lakshmi saraswati uh, subala and like this they have given names and they were telling me the pujari of the temple was telling me that we are staying here from 30 years wow. and in last 30 years we have never asked donation from anybody wow people come and they will just dump all their money here and go and they are like you could have gone anywhere but why are you coming here oh we don't know whenever we come here we feel like donating and then uh, they said uh, in my in last 30 years i have not seen anybody fighting here i have not seen yeah. any quarrel here i have not yeah. seen anybody taking grudges against anybody anybody fighting i mean those right. things i have not seen here because i was thinking that you know pushya is related to forgiveness and it is where you know mars also gets debilitated and jupiter gets exalted so you know it's like that abundance prosperity all it's like so much matching and in india in olden days you know they used to every house used to have one one cow at least where they used yeah. to you know do cow protection so yeah. india was so prosperous you know that vasco da gama he came and you know columbus wanted to go to us but then he landed up here i guess so that that's yeah. very true and pushya is in general related to prosperity and abundance right yeah exactly in fact um, in fact they do the go puja they if you have a cow one thing uh, i was actually told by a, a brahman uh, one, by a priest here is that if you want quick money do a go puja and then you make the cow put the feet on your and make the cow put the feet on your uh, on the friend um, friend of your house you know the step of your house and supposedly lakshmi devi will come quickly 
you know the cow is always with krishna so there is this concept of lakshmi and uttar bhadrapada is also controlled lakshmi so like to come quickly if the cow is coming into your house that's why that the priest was telling and uttar bhadrapada you know, can connect with yeah. deep sea correct deep sea is where you have uh, like vishnu and lakshmi on the deep exactly. sea all yeah see and the sagar came from sea correct in that sagar yes, mathan yes 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 came from sea and these photos are also very interesting i was trying to link with an akshatras i mean yeah no. so just let me uh, <laughs> just give you one context here um, because i i was telling babuji before uh, like like um, uh, ramana's uh, nakshatra is rohini and rohini is uh, the snake here is falling in you can make krishna's nakshatra rohini as the ascendant and try to connect with the rest of the nakshatra animals by making this as the ascendant and that will kind of give you some more clues around how to read the chart and what other mythological stories are playing out for instance krishna 7000 is falling in um, anradha and anradha is the deer and you can see krishna radha connection playing out you know uh, that is one thing sound house connection with respect to rohini what are you saying babuji yeah. no i was saying that uh, long back when i was attending a spiritual program around 6 7 years back that uh, person that speaker was telling me that you will never find any photo of lord krishna where he's alone he's standing alone you will never find yeah or lord ram you will find he's standing with a bow he's you know hitting somebody or he's standing alone or maybe sita devi is there shiva's photo you will find alone he's sitting alone and meditating everybody's photo you'll find alone but krishna's photo you will yeah. never find alone so i was thinking that Uh, that rohini was the most uh, favorite spouse of the moon and he always used to be with uh, her na to uh, to an extent that he got a curse because of that so because of that maybe you know this energy is playing out here that you know always maybe a cow is there or sudama is there or such some radha is there or yashoda is there somebody will always be there with krishna this is one observation i have made with the photos <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's very interesting uh, because the rohini is ruled by moon moon is the ruler of third house also with respect to rohini nakshatra ascendant yes. some kind of friend is always with respect to krishna that is one simple way to look at that um but yeah his friend is always a cow also which is interesting because cancer is also having pushed cow is uh, you know cow's udder is a symbol there uh, so yeah it's, it's some animal symbols are actually interesting because uh, you have the lion tail as a symbol here in mula uh, you know that's one thing and um, i think that's an interesting symbol there uh, one potential symbol for mula you, you can make symbols also as a remedy you know you can draw a picture of a symbol also nakshatra symbol that can also act with that in logic with respect to animal draw to shravana or say you have jupiter and shravana what aditya was saying before you can draw the picture of a yellow three circles <laughs> that can act with shravana you know that's a very simple concept again you can also draw uh, say mars is in dhanushta so you can draw uh, you know mars is a red color dhanushta is a flute and drum in fact you can uh, you know draw the picture of flute and drum in red color that will act with that also so concept again you are creating a yantra again with uh, dhanushta again you know you can literally get an item also can do symbol that can also act with it you know so there is many things you can do with uh, these things here yeah. okay okay and before we were recording i was just asking you regarding uh, jeshtha nakshatra which which is the animal oh, right, right. jeshtha is has significations with indra and right. uh, krishna and indra had a face off two times once when he wanted right. the parijat vriksh and once when he lifted the gordhan in both the cases and it's right. like you no know, both are directly seven houses apart and seventh house as they say is also you know open enemy those enemies which you see right so i was just trying to link <laughs> i mean both yeah it's interesting it's great. You your wife is your open enemy <laughs> yeah well, I would say that, yeah but one one interesting concept i'll say is that uh, if you make rohini as the ascendant you have to remember indra agni is also falling in vishaka vishaka is also falling in sixth house with respect to rohini so oh. it could be that the indra the indra portion of vishaka might actually be falling in libra which is sixth house of uh, Uh, Krishna okay. and the Agni portion might actually be falling in uh, Scorpio or something. That's also a possibility there, you know. It's an interesting thing. 
Krishna had requested Hanuman ji that uh, during my Ram avatar you were always there, but this time because right. the yoga is different, so you will not be there because the size of the bodies are very big, you know, in Treta Yuga that time. Right. He said, right. I want that you are there in this battlefield. You are on the side of the Pandavas, helping them on Dharma. So then right. Hanuman ji said, I will be there in uh, Arjuna's flag, you know. So Arjuna's right. chariot, that flag, if you see, there is a, in fact, uh, I have. Yeah, a, yeah, because there's, yeah, see, again, flag, flag is, is Mula. There. Flag is Ketu, correct? Exactly. Right, right. Mula Ketu connection, you can see the flag. Right. And Mula is related to Hanuman again. Yeah, so right. this is a falling in which house? Uh, fifth house, if I am right, from Rohini. Well, uh, if you make Krishna as the ascendant, uh, it will, the flag, uh, the Hanuman will fall out. Or even you know, but uh, what is interesting is that if um, if you make uh, lesson, then the student will be fifth house of Falguni, exactly. Arjuna, exactly. And then from that, for Falguni is uh, fourth house of vehicle, which is like eight house, you know, uh, which is like fifth house, eight house is the fourth house from fifth house. So in his vehicle, there will be a monkey or Hanuman kind of connection. Perfect, you know? perfect. Yeah. <laughs> so that makes sense on that regard. So yeah, this is a big. Uh, I mean, you can dive deep and find everything. So, <laughs> the so I'll, animal. Just, uh, I'll just reinstantiate this what this once more. Snake is the one where Rohini is. Then you right. said from there fifth will be Arjuna because Arjuna was his disciple. Right. And from there the fourth one is the monkey. That's what you were saying. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Ah, exactly okay. that. And because Hanuman was in the chariot of his disciple, perfect. Right. <laughs> exactly right. Yeah, and even uh, one interesting thing is that if you make Rohini as yes, then the ninth house cusp will be falling in Shravana, and Shravana is like I would say uh, Shravana and Uttarashada, you know. So Uttarashada is where is ninth house of Krishna is for. So Krishna would be connected with some kind of battle or final victory, which is Uttarashada, and Shravana is also the listening. I'm thinking like uh, Gita that is telling. <laughs> yeah, Gita is still being listened to. You know, everyone listens oh, to that. Yeah. yeah, that kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, but uh, this is a simple topic. Um, so what you know, I, I I feel mean, like the whole lesson of this is how nakshatras come. Basically, you see the, how, how the play of the nakshatras in each day-to-day -day life. Right. Everything is governed like and and how this play is to understand the cosmic level of 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 how how that is all going is like. All that nakshatra energies are situated in each and every, what you say, in photos or in pictures or in in in, in drum or in flute or or in day-to-day -day objects, basically. So yeah, each yeah. is the creation. What we see is nothing but associated with certain nakshatras and all those energies associated with that. And then taking that or understanding that can give clues, basically, to uh, to understand that nakshatra and getting the themes. So I I feel the most much more bigger picture to understand is this cosmic connection. I think that yeah. is the most important lesson uh, to take, I guess. <laughs> from, yes. from, 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 <laughs> of course, the evidence and all is fine, but then what what to look beyond is to see the connection of all this, how it happens, and that is always surprises me. Is like how how this is cosmic is connected. You are you are talking about uh, say a Dhanishta connection with a drum or a flute. What the Dhanishta yeah. drum or the flute has got something to do with Dhanishta nakshatra? Yeah. Right. What, or what, uh, so that's that's what or what a dog has to do with Ardra nakshatra. Right. Something like the cosmic connection. That's that's amazes me about how how we yeah. live and how that is transferred and all those. And yeah, one, also, one, one one last thing uh, I was uh, thinking that. Uh, like in case of Krishna and Lord Ram, both of them have their moon in the ascendant. So the Lagna and the Chandra Lagna is the same. But in right. case of Krishna, moon is exalted. So whenever we think of Rindavan or Krishna's, you know, pastimes in childhood, always this milk thing is there, you know, that he used to steal, right. steal milk, uh, this right. water from the house right. of the gopis. So this right. is also milk, you know, that milk thing is coming very much. <laughs> right. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. 
I would say that uh, definitely Krishna, if he was an avatar, <laughs> Nakshatra has played out for Krishna also. <laughs> you know but maybe in different time scale or whatever uh, you know perhaps in the yuga was different the uh, energies might also have been slightly varied um, but the and, teams would have been yeah good. and w- one more question i have so now here you have shown like for rohini there's just one snake you have shown but suppose yeah. somebody wants to draw suppose they have their 10th lord in rohini for example and they want to get a job for example so then what yeah. kind of snake do they draw you know it's like any snake whichever they like or Yeah, I just draw typical king cobra stuff like that. I would say that you know, Rohini is like king cobra, so you can do. Now, see, that's the big thing because each of these animals have their own thousand species. You know, so like you oh, okay. can draw anything. See, that that's a uh, um, you can draw any as long as the animal is there. Fine, that should be fine. Also, that color has like to be the, of that planet. If Mars is there, exactly. and Rohini, then it has to be red color. Yeah, exactly, exactly that. It's a very and simple for, thing. It's and a very for simple. moon and Venus, yeah. in moon and Venus, if they want to activate, in both the cases, the background is black and the color is white. Yeah, exactly that. Exactly okay. that. Yeah. Okay. So you want to get married? Look at your Venus. Look at the nakshatra animal of that Venus. Draw that uh, particular thing. To draw that particular uh, animal. Look at the house where it came. So first house, assuming is east. Seventh house is west. And north is the four thousand, tenth is south house, south. And then assume a marker drawing and place it in in this particular direction, wherever it is that house is falling in. And then uh, you can just uh, place in that house. You can stick it on the wall, put it there. You can frame it. Doesn't matter as long as you keep it there. And you can see what happens. You stay there the house number of days. Uh, so twelve thousand matters. I mean twelve in twelve days you will see some result. Twelve, twelve months, that kind of thing. You know, that is something uh, I would say. Usually, that's one thing I would say. It will be interesting to see. Definitely, I see changes for sure. You know, uh, some changes happening. So. And when you uh, say they have to put it, so it's like they have to paste it in that direction of the wall or something exactly. like that. Yeah. It's not to paste it. That they frame it. it. Yeah, no need to frame it. I, if you even if you paste it on the wall, also you'll see the result. Some result you will see. Yeah. the one thing i've seen is that uh, you know one thing to watch out for uh, is that um, scorpio and uh, aquarius right you have to consider both uh, scorpio is ruled by mars and ketu and aquarius is ruled by rahu and saturn so so you have to draw saturn and rahu for aquarius and mars and ketu for scorpio that is one suggestion i have but then you should have seen that uh, scorpio there is some ketu kind of effect will play so like for instance you ask someone to draw something on scorpio you'll see literally that right, they won't draw the ketu picture and then they are face to kind of karma also and you know i see movements happening so literally you can see the karma is playing out through pictures also something like that you know they they have some karmic blockages or draw one particular type of picture or something like that also i see uh, sometimes yeah it is very interesting or this <laughs> picture thing, you know yeah uh, that one set of mbd is uh, for sure babuji yeah i think this uh, this one simple thing uh, it's very really important when you're drawing also to draw it with that intention also you're drawing it you know with that intention of that i have to that particular planet may so that kind of thing chant some mantra be in that holy state of mind and then do that you know uh, that might actually help you also but this is a very simple thing uh, you can do it anything what i've seen people actual artists what i recommend is that draw pictures of the god or goddesses come to these animals or come to certain nakshatras So Rohini, you have planet in Rohini. Draw a picture of Krishna. Uh, you have planet in, uh, you know, uh, Spurva Shara. Draw a picture of Hanuman. You can paint a picture of Hanuman. He's a great artist. And then donate it to the Hanuman temple. That and you will see those kind of pictures in temple. Many people have donated paintings and stuff. So you get it. Uh, they would have created certain energies, you know. So things like that. I've seen that also giving results in general. So. and they can yeah, be if their 12th lord is in rohini suppose they can donate to a krishna temple for example exactly. and do all this exactly. so 12th lord will show the losses exactly. exactly exactly what aditya was saying before 12000 and uh, the energy that would have come to you as monetary or actually convert into a painting and you are giving that to the temple so do that karmic tree it is being improved, you know so mm-hmm. that kind of thing yeah amazing wonderful yeah and uh, yeah with the animals that is one thing for i think i would say um, 
one thing i want to share was uh, at least with the objects uh, one simple i think maybe the third part uh, i think this has gone long you know third part i just want to say two quick remedies for certain nakshatras uh, maybe yeah, aditya and i we'll, both can we will we'll do this it's almost uh, 40 minutes <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. time just flows <laughs> all right ladies and gentlemen we'll continue the amazing session in part 3 okay stay tuned